What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender animation tutorial. So I got a question last week about how to animate a door opening and closing for an architectural walkthrough inside of Blender. So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to animate this. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in order to do this, I've created just a simple room right here. And what I've done is I've just used a Boolean modifier in order to cut an opening in this wall, right? So this is a door that I brought in from Archimesh and uh, it comes with a Boolean right here so that we've got a hole cut in our wall so that we can actually see through this when our door opens. Um, I do have more information on that um, that I will link to in another video in the notes down below. But for this one, I wanted to specifically talk about how we can animate the door rotating open and closed, right? So you can see how I can use the, uh, I can use the rotate tool in order to rotate this but how do we animate that? And note that this is going to be important. It's going to be important that your door is separate geometry from your frame. So this is one reason why we want to model our door as a separate object from our frame. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to use keyframes in order to animate this. So the way that's going to work is let's go ahead and jump over into the animation tab. So what the animation tab does is that gives us a little window over here where we can see what we're doing. Um, it also gives us an edit window over here and then it's got a sheet down below where we can manage our keyframes. And so a keyframe is basically tying a location or an aspect of an object to a piece of time, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an animation that's maybe 200 um, frames long. And what we wanna do is we wanna tell this that the door needs to be in a certain location at different, at different times or at different frames. And so the way that we wanna do that is we wanna start off and we wanna set our base keyframe, right? And one way I've found is pretty easy to do this is to go over into the object properties in order to do this. So right now we wanna set our first keyframe. And so you can do that by just coming over here into the rotation section. Notice how there's a little dot right here, right? And when you mouse over it, it says animate property. Well, what that's gonna allow us to do is if we click on that, notice how this adds a little frame right here. And so basically what that's indicating is that's indicating that for this object, it has stored the rotation of zero degrees at a time of zero frames. So now let's say that we wanted this to rotate 90 degrees, right? So you can adjust the rotation over here. You could also adjust it inside of your window as well. We'll talk more about that in a second. But for what for right now, what we want to do is let's assume that over the course of, let's say, 60 frames, we want this door to open. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set the rotation to 90 degrees. So notice how when I set the rotation to 90 degrees over here, this door rotates 90 degrees. But the problem is if I move my mouse or I drag this around, notice how that goes away. Well, the reason for that is because we didn't actually store the rotation keyframe. So to do that, I just want to type in a value of 90 and then click on the little animate property button again. And so what we've done is we've told this that at zero frames, this door needs to be at a zero rotation. But then we've also told it that at 60 frames, the door needs to be open. And so notice how what this does is this automatically animates a transition between those two things. So now if I was to click play, Notice how this door opens up over 60 frames, right? So now my door is open. Well, now what I wanna do is I wanna add another animation with my door closing. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna start by duplicating these keyframes, right? I want my door to sit open for about 40 frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select these frames just by dragging my mouse across them like this. And then I'm gonna do a Shift D to duplicate. Well, notice how when I do a shift D to duplicate, what I can do is I can move my mouse over until this is aligned with the 100 frames option. Well, now if I click, what that means is that means that at 60 frames, this is going to have a rotation of 90 degrees. That also means at 100, at 100 frames, this is going to have a rotation of 90 degrees. Well, then let's say that I want this to close by 150 frames over here. Well, all I have to do is just create a new 
keyframe. And let's say we didn't want to use the transform function over here. Let's say we wanted to use Blender's keyboard shortcuts. Well, what I could do is I could just type the uh, R key, then type Z to adjust the rotation along the Z axis. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this until this is closed. Or I could type in a value of negative 90 degrees and hit the enter key. So what I've done is I've rotated this over here instead of using the object properties. Well, you can also set a keyframe by right clicking in your window and clicking insert keyframe. And notice how there's all these different things that you can add for what you want to keyframe, right? These are all things that have to do with the movement of the door. Well, in this situation, I'm just gonna say that I wanna insert a keyframe for the rotation. So when I do that, Notice what that does is that adds a keyframe for all of the rotation functions. So you can also use this in order to do that. Well now, if I was to drag this all the way back and then click play, you're gonna notice that your door is gonna open, it's gonna pause, and then it's gonna close just like this. And so that's how you can create a simple animation for your door, but now, Let's say that we wanted to also animate a camera moving towards the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adding a camera. So the way that I'm gonna do that is just gonna do Shift A, camera. What that does is that adds a camera in my scene. Then I'm just gonna type the zero key on my numpad. And so what that does is that moves me into this camera so that I can move it around. Make sure under your view menu right here, the option for lock camera to view is selected. But now what I can do is I can move my camera just by moving my mouse around and navigating like I usually would. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom back like this so that my whole house is in view, right? And what I want to do is I want to set my uh, I want to set my timeline to zero, and I want to go ahead and right click and I want to insert a keyframe for the camera location and rotation. And before I do that, I'm going to make sure this is perfectly aligned. So I'm going to set this to negative ninety. I'm going to set my rotation on my y axis to zero, and then I'm just going to right click in here, insert a keyframe for location and rotation. So what that means is that means that at zero frames, my camera is gonna be way back here. So we've basically saved our camera location. Well now, let's say that when this door opens at 50 frames, I want my camera, or 60 frames, I want my camera to move forward. Well, what I can do is I can then adjust my camera location just by scrolling. So I'm just gonna scroll this a little bit and I'm going to move my camera like this. Set my rotation to zero. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to right click. I'm going to insert a keyframe. And what that's going to do is that's going to add updated keyframes for all of the items that I had in here. Well, now what you're going to notice is if I hit the play button, my camera movement is going to be animated based on the keyframes that I set. And so let's say that I wanted to adjust these. Well, all I have to do is just drag my mouse across them to select them, and then I can just type the G key in order to move them over. So I can set my camera so that this keyframe is actually on the 100 mark right here. And then I could select these, I can do a Shift D to duplicate, and I could set this so that my camera location stays the same until frame 60. So now, if I click on play, my camera waits, then it zooms in, then my door closes. So obviously this isn't the best walkthrough animation in the world, but it gives you an idea of the way that this is going to work. So now, I would recommend saving your model. So I'm just gonna do a file, save, and then let's render this out. And this is very simply rendered. So I have this rendering in Eevee. Um, I have just a sun in here. So I have a sunlight. I have an HDR image in the background, or an HDRI image in the background as well. I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now. The only thing I might do is I might zoom my camera in just a bit so you can't actually see that image. So when I do that, I can just right click in here 
and I'm just gonna click on insert keyframes again. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna update these keyframes. And notice how this is the old version. So I'm just gonna delete these out. And I'll just duplicate these over again. So now what I have is I have a rendered view of my door opening, my camera moving, and then my door closing. So now all we need to do is export this. So what we wanna to do to export this is first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave my render engine on Eevee because I want this to go fast. Um, if you want this to be a little bit more realistic, you can set it to do cycles as well. We're gonna leave it on Eevee for right now. But then we just need to go into our output properties and we just need to set where our output files are gonna go and what we want them to be. So in this situation, we've set our dimensions up so that we're gonna be 1920 by 1080. Um, depending on what you're trying to do, you might wanna adjust that aspect ratio a little bit, but we're gonna leave it as is for right now. But now, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna make sure that my frames line up. So this is starting at frame one and ending at frame 200, which is what we want. And then we're just gonna go down and we're gonna set our file format to I'm gonna go ahead and set it to an FFmpeg video. And then once I'm done, now we're all set, we're ready to export our video. We're just gonna to go to Render Animation. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and it's gonna create all of the different frames in our animation. And you can see what frame it's on by looking in the upper left-hand corner. So it's gonna take all of these it's gonna render out every single frame and then it's gonna stitch them together into a full animation. So I'm gonna let this finish and then we can take a look at what I created. And so if we go in that folder, you can see that it stitches together into a video file. So if you play that, you can see how we have a rendered animation of our door opening, our camera moving, and our door closing. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Was it helpful to you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.